What's going on guys? Yogizilla here. And I think this time we're gonna do this right. We're, we, we, you know what? I'm trying to do this whole Retro Friday thing, hashtag Retro Friday thing, you know, uh, properly. I'm trying to get my sound levels just right. Get the voice projection just right. I don't want to come in too hot, but I also want to come in clearly. It's weird! Because people say that sometimes I'm really low and sometimes say, they say I'm really loud. So, I got the mic far away from me. Does it pick up uh, as much ambient noise like clicking and swallowing and farting or whatever? But uh, yeah, I think we'll, you know, this is going to be a test run. It's going to be a work in progress. Today I'm going to do a combination of video recording and actual streaming. And I figured that for the older games, it's probably just better to just record a video. No, no one would probably probably really wants to watch me stream that on Twitch. But I think get some people watching uh, when I play Kid Chameleon and some of the other games in the Sega Genesis collection. The other thing is, it's much easier to record the emulated games than to stream them because this adds streaming adds so many other variables. Um, so, so far, looks like it's good. You should be seeing a little fuzzy screen. I'm gonna load up Herzog Zwei, finally. Play this for about 20 30 minutes and talk about why this is such an important game. Um, so let's get that going. Alright, so far, so good. Sega! All right, I'm gonna lower the music on the game a little bit while I talk about why this is such an important game. And really, what makes this game so important is the fact that it is pretty much the, f the grandfather of RTS and uh, MOBA games as we know them today. Um, if you look at it very closely, you can see how it may have inspired Total, Total Annihilation or StarCraft or um, Air Mech. This is a, this, Air Mech is a direct spiritual uh, successor to this game. It's so much fun. Even today, it holds up well. It's not just one of those things where, oh, it's a, oh, it's a classic game, so, or it's a game that people don't really know, so it's cool. I guess I'm a hipster. Let me like it just because it's less, it's not really well known, it's not mainstream. No, this game set the stage, and the fact that it's still fun today says a lot. I think I'm going to do a little campaign, uh, maybe just one or two battles in campaign. I'm probably going to suck. I do have a controller plugged in. I'm using a Razer Anza uh, Xbox 360 controller, which I like a lot. It's my uh, gamepad of choice, usually. Um, I won't get too into that. Let's uh, get straight into this and then get the music back on. I won't talk too much because uh, music might um, overshadow what I'm trying to say. But when, once I start playing, hopefully you'll see why I appreciate this game so much. Now, let me see. Should I stretch this out to take up more of the space? I probably should. Let's get that just right. I don't want to take a full screen. Just enough. And don't forget, if you like what we're doing at Geeky Antics, what I'm doing on my channel, please visit us, geekyantics.net, and also our sister site, our unofficial partner, allgames.com, where you can find Horseplay Live and lots of amazing content. Great community on both sites, and... You know, we'd be humbled if you come join us, leave some comments, share content with your friends, and all that good stuff. Be social, it's great. Um, also, leave us some voicemail, 206-415-4987. You should be able to see all that stuff in the news scroller. And by the time you watch this video on YouTube, it might some of that information might be uh, dated. But, you know, uh, yeah, I think it's still relevant. I should have probably checked that before I started recording. But hopefully this, the video quality is good. And here we go. Music in this game is amazing. Unless you don't like 8 bit or 16 bit music. Let's do 
the basic level. Alright. Number of trolls. Oh crap, I really. Just take a little getting used to. So you have units that are air, anti air, anti ground, and both. Um, crap. And you see how much they cost. You gotta be really careful what I'm doing. It's good to have. Oh wow, it's really expensive. Some anti air. I'm gonna probably lose this match horribly. Alright, no, no, no. You can give commands to your guys. Run button. No, I don't want you to attack anything. No, no, no. Stay. I need to stay in base just in case you start. Oh my gosh. Terrible start. Um. That's stationary right there. Alright. This computer is gonna cream me. I don't want that. Uh, attack the nearest rally point. Oh wow, I'm really low on money. They're getting lost, I don't know what they're doing. I need something that has anti-air. Oh, that's the one I want. Oh no, that's the one I want. So what happened to money? I need some light armor. Alright, I'm getting the hang of the controls. You gotta take, up the take over the neutral bases so nice things happen. I don't know why my, uh, the pathing was always kind of bad on this game. But when you consider this came out, you know, like, 1993, you gotta kind of appreciate that. Alright, I need to start making some damage on this guy's base. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to get over there. And he's taking over bases. See, my energy's going down because I'm not over my base. Whoops. Alright, this is... My economy sucks right now. I spent money on way too expensive stuff. Let's push the battle front up. Love this song! Oh my gosh! I know I'm a nerd. All right, so I got 1,200 gold, but I need some sound. Wow, he's look at all the stuff he's taking over. The AI in this game is really good. I think that's anti-air. Oh, that might be light armor. Oh man. Of course, since I don't have a, any real neutral bases, my economy sucks right now. If he destroyed my base, GG. He gets my Nexus. He's moving on to the next one. Alright, I'm gonna try... Oh. 
All right, this is just it. Um, run! Uh, I picked all the wrong units. And this map is one of the harder ones. No! Damn it! Keep pushing out around buttons soon. Oh, that'd be good. He's trying to see my base. Oh, you bastard. I need some. That's so expensive. I need some anti air. What the hell? I don't remember them being able to fall off like that. Ooh, now things are getting really intense, and I. Ha! Ah, take that! Oh, hey! Placement of your units is very important. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button! I forget no analog support in this particular setup I did. I have to get that set up next time. Oh my gosh. I used to be really good at this game, but I guess with an old, old age... I'm getting less... Oh, what the hell? Oh, did he just take out my guys? Oh, you bastard. And of course, this guy had no supplies now. Let me resupply him. Are you freaking serious? Whoa, wrong button! No! Ah! Good lord. Can a brother breathe? Alright. I just gotta get used to the nuances of... The bad thing is you can't queue up units here like you can in Air Mech. Air Mech uh, improved a lot in the game. Unfortunately, the only downside is that since it is a free-to-play game, they do little things like to kind of monetize the game. Oh, you're a bastard. 
she's destroying my stuff faster than I can get it up. I'm gonna have to get some more anti-air. Keep him from wanting to come over here. He really wants this base. So much so that he's ignoring my main base. If there's a human game, he would just backdoor right now. I'm running out of money here. That's good placement. Alright, I need to set up a forward assault team here. There's a 50 unit limit, I believe. Did he still get something off? No. I have 9 units. Wow, I barely have any money. Of course, the heavy armor tanks do not have anti-air. Which is good for me. I need to start setting up a board base. I need to start crippling his defensive forces. Oh boy. I wouldn't chase me if I were you. Let's get a little bit of protection over here. I don't think he's gonna go that way. Uh oh. He's have he's just doing brute force. Now, nah, even though the computer can be a little predictable, there are times when he does stuff that really throws you for a loop. You have energy levels for your fuel and oh crap. For your fuel and your uh fuel and your uh weapon. I'm not gonna win this match. The economy in this game is so freaking hardcore. Are you freaking serious? Oh, did I just shoot my own stuff? Frustration. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna restart it. Screw that. That's just... It's a restart. Uh, what's the... Thing you do here? Freaking cheating bots. <laughs> Using hacks. Mm.
That's completely wrong. It wasn't 1993, 1989. Look how that tells you how far back this game goes. All right. This is definitely a Twitch style, you know, when I say Twitch, fast paced kind of uh, RTS game. I think there's a way to make. Can I configure all this stuff? You know the music on this game, I want you to hear this. Wait, I won't show it. Come on. It takes a little while to load, I think. I there you go. I'm trying to find my favorite song on this track. I think I'm gonna play another round because <laughs> just that. I'm not caffeinated enough to handle the freaking ugh, bot on this game. I will revisit this though. Let me know if you like it. It is a fun game to play. I wish I could get like net play for this. That's a good song with the sniper. If I'm not mistaken, this is a German developed game, hence the name Herzog Zwei. Yeah, look at that. That's good 16 bit music. I don't care what anyone says. Awesome stuff right there. Just the sound level a little bit. Let's see. That's like the end music. That's the end credit music, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a while. Full retreat. This is a good one too. I think I'm gonna end the video here with this song. It's just epic. But you know, let me know if you like this. Tweet me at Yogizilla. And also at Geeky Antics, and use the hashtag Retro Friday. Hashtag Retro Friday. And let me know what your thoughts are. What are some of your favorite games on uh, Sega platforms? Particular, particularly the Sega Genesis and the Master System. This was a Genesis game, but there was a precursor to this. This is Herzog like Zwei, which is part two. You know, Zwei is two, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I'm saying it right. And uh, then it was Herzog, which was on a uh, computing platform. It was on PC, but it was on something even earlier than that. So this uh, series has history. I don't know what's up with the, with the, de the developer these days. I might have to look into that. But let me know what you think. I'm going to end with this music here. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to keep the Retro Spirit Friday spirit. We're going to keep the Retro Friday spirit going strong. Know your roots. So we could... Uh, we need to appreciate where we're at now with gaming, regardless of how the gaming industry had turned out and where things are at. There are still indie developers, there's still great retro games, there's, st there's great non-retro games. But to me, retro gaming is not just about the pixel art, it's about the spirit of gaming. Having fun, having high replay value, and that challenge level. Games now, they're just, they're, they hold your hand so much, they insult your intelligence and they regurgitate the same concepts. And this is a game right here that actually paved the way for a lot of great games today. In some ways, they even paved the way for MOBAs like League of Legends and Dota. So wrap your mind around that. All right, now I'm gonna really sign off. Thanks for tuning in, and let me know. If you like if you like this here, leave a like, you know, some comments, share it, favorite it, add it to playlist, all that good stuff. Cause I'm gonna get this up on YouTube and I appreciate. It'll, it'll definitely motivate me more to get more videos up. And do some non-mainstream stuff. Because there's plenty of people covering the mainstream stuff, you know. And I like the mainstream stuff, but you know, I like I like to give you guys variety. But I digress. Yogi Zilla out.